Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another Five Minute Sunday School. Happy New Year to you. I hope that you had a great New Year's Eve and that you're able to do some celebrating. Maybe you stayed up to midnight, maybe you didn't, but whatever the case, I hope that 2021 will be amazing for you. Have you ever gone wandering around and became so focused or intent on something that you completely lost track of time. And then before you know it, your parents come running up to you and they grab you by the arm and they go, where were you? They're absolutely frantic. And they're going, you worried us sick. Don't ever do that again. And perhaps you're confused on that because you knew you were okay. You figured you were safe. You were happy doing what you're doing. Jesus has a similar story. It happened when he was 12. His family went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. This journey was different than the journey that Mary and Joseph took in the Christmas story in that they, this time they were surrounded by people. A lot of the images we see at Christmas time, they're alone. But this time they were surrounded by people, uh, friends and family. All of Jerusalem was packed, so much so that Mary and Joseph actually lost track of Jesus. Um, we can read about what happened in Luke chapter 2, verses 43 through 52. After the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. Jesus seems so matter of fact when he answers Mary and Joseph. Can you imagine your parents' response if you answered them with, Of course I'm here. Where else would I be? Do you think they would be as open and forgiving as Mary and Joseph appear to be? Whatever the case, I know that they would be super happy to find you again, the same as Mary and Joseph were so happy to find Jesus. Lots of times when people go on an adventure, they take a compass with them to help them not get lost. And today we're going to try and make a compass of our own. You're going to need a sewing needle, a piece of uh, parchment paper or wax paper cut into a circle, a bowl of water, and a really strong magnet. Here we go. All right, everybody, I'm back. Let's try and work this out here. So first off, I'm gonna start with my pin. Oh, no, it's not, it doesn't wanna come off the table. There, I got my sewing needle. And I'm gonna rub it with this magnet. And we're gonna rub it probably 50 times, if not more, it depends how strong your magnet is. You're gonna make sure it's well and truly magnetized. What's happening is the, the needle will become magnetic a little bit not enough to hold anything on your fridge but it's going to take on some of the powers of this magnet and you're going to do both sides the front and the back or the top and the bottom however however you would see a needle going and you're going to rub it really 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 well all right and once you have it lots and lots and lots you may need to do yours more i hope i don't have to do mine anymore I'm going to put it through this piece of parchment paper that I cut out earlier. Or if you have a cork or wax paper, you can do that too. And with any luck, when I put this in the bowl, it's going to move around to point to north. Let's see. Oh, it did right away. That is, uh, that is north. That's kind of surprising. I'm going to take it out and try again, see if it makes a difference. Let's see. And... There it goes. So now I have my own compass. I don't know how well this would travel, but uh, it was fun to make anyways. I'd like you to give it a shot at home. Let me know how it turns out. All right, so that's me for this week. You guys have a great week and uh, good luck with your online learning that's gonna start. 
and uh, we will get through this uh, coronavirus and through the lockdown. I know it's really hard for some of you and you're missing your friends a lot. And uh, please know that I'm thinking of you and I care for you all very much. And uh, have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye-bye.